Hey guys, and welcome back to Cloudpunk. Uh, we are about to talk to Glambo. Uh, this guy's just a rando, <laughs> we don't know. But we also have a mission to talk with Cora, and I suppose we're gathering some cards for Avalon. But hey, yeah. I think there are clear ongoing. differences in intelligence between the Spire dwellers and those from the slums. Debate me. Oh, I, I fucking me? debate you. No. Yeah. Oh, why? Are you afraid? I'm Glimbo, and I'm the most skilled debater in the whole of Novalis. You have a noise I am a uh, voice of a bitch. martial artist and cannot be defeated. Fine, you win. No, 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 no. That's not good enough. I will find a subject you cannot resist debating with me. Fuck me. Mm. Men are me clearly game. superior to women in strength as well as skill. All right. That's true, too. Nothing? Okay. Uh... The Eastern Peninsula is home to savages who eat their own children. Well, that's I know true I too. did. Delicious. <laughs> mm, androids don't deserve their rights. They have no soul. Do you? Of oh. course I do. Oh. We all do. It's all but debate. those who are not born of other humans. That is why androids deserve no right. Ah, you see how I hook you on my snare? <laughs> now nah, we're debating. <laughs> Put forth your points and I shall defeat them. I have a job, and if I don't do it, they fire me, so I really don't have time to debate you. <laughs> oh, man. Then I win! Ha <laughs> ha! You concede! Androids are not real people. Women are inferior to men. Savages from the East eat babies. Rich people from the Spire deserve their wealth. I win! Yeah, well, very compelling. Um, well, maybe not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like brainstorming. Not like, oh my god, I wanna win. I don't care about that. I just I just I just like discussing ideas, I suppose. Alright, we can go home, but also we can just be uh just go in on a job. I don't know. Pasha is back at home. Uh there's no need to say hi. I'm hey, I'm working, okay? Cora. Oh, well Um I don't know if I could call what I did before right right now working, but hey, it is my prog process. Don't question it. It is a. It works, okay. <laughs> just like I do. Uh, I might just talk to this one woman who we never talked to in this area. But of course, it would be better if we uh, flew on the highways, the roads. Um, I was told the name of the, the roads once, I think, but I totally forgot. Uh, it makes you go faster, they make you go faster, but yeah, that's that's about it. You don't have to go there, but... Just cool. <laughs> and, uh, and you can get where you need to go uh, faster. I want to have a chat with this woman, but... Actually, I was just about to go and meet Korra, but then I got a mission about, like, taking some dumb historian guy somewhere else. And I really didn't need to take him. But, I mean, at this point, at that point, I would, it would really be nice just to, just the game gives me the option of, like, uh, hey, maybe you'd, you want to do this later, you know, or, or not at all. It wouldn't be that hard. Just freedom of choice. Oh. More punch cards for Avalon. What else we got? Uh, there's a woman here and uh, we have no idea if there are any more items here. So, might as well. Oh, bad camera. <laughs> Wait, am I going the right way? Yes, I parked in the wrong way. Well, not not necessarily the, the wrong place. I'm still a little okay, conflicted because the camera is weird. All right, one woman over here. I'm gonna pick up the package behind you. Then we're gonna chat, Molly. But I'm gonna act all annoyed, like you approach me. I'm gonna be like, oh, what do you want from me? But. Still gonna chase you down with a stick. I, I saw that you wanna talk to me across town. I'm gonna come in here. Come here and gonna act annoyed, pro probably. Are you Kelson? Nope. Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. 
We talked about this in the chat room. Ooh. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. I am. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm Kelson. I'm not Kelson. No, My come name on. is Rania. Oh, I see. I am sorry too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. Even worse when it is in the rain. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of... Latex, yes. And I suppose that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? Uh, I'm still deciding. Kind of? You? It is honest work. I make people happy. But how? Are you... A sex worker? Yes. A dominatrix. Really? My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. Okay. You have something else to say. Spit it out. No, oh, I think that's cool. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. I know you are curious. Am I? Does it feel bad hurting people? They even want if it. they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me with words and with huge <laughs> handfuls of money. <laughs> Has it ever gone wrong with a client? No. You're Seriously? Lucky You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. Mm. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon. And get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work. Whether we think we do or not, no need for it to be waterlogged. Okay. That was a safe word. Um, achievement unlocked. Uh... Okay, cool. I mean, ultimately, like, it, it really shouldn't be, uh... I mean, we can think about it, we can uh, talk about it, but... People who enjoy that, I mean... I, oh, more power to them, I suppose. I mean, I suppose the question would be why, but is it just innocent, or... Is it, uh, based on some kind of, uh... Uh... Psychological problem? Probably not, like... You ask a lot of women, uh, or men, like, uh, they just need to, uh, all kinds of stuff, I suppose. That's just fine. Although, I think I was about to make the argument that does, does the, the fact that it's done by a robot, just automaton and some augments, take away from the experience? At that point, why do you even need a fucking dominatrix, right? What would be the difference between, like, burning my hand on the toaster? It's kind of the same thing, right? I'm not saying, like... Maybe it doesn't add to the experience, I suppose, uh, of something that I don't really... Uh, want and struggle to understand, but... I'm just kind of struggle to understand the fact that it wouldn't take away from the experience. Okay then. Oh, meet Cora at the sanction, but most likely we're gonna wait. Do I need to repair my car? No, 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 no. It's in impeccable condition. I imagine. Well, it, you don't need to repair your car. I mean, this is just a little life tip for you. So, you don't need to repair your car. You don't need to take your car to the service until you see smoke. And then you think, okay, I'm just going to drive it around for a while. And, uh, you know, if, if I happen to be driving uh, by a, uh, just a garage, then I might just pop in. If I feel like it. But, you know, maybe not. And, yeah, free tips for you. Uh, that side's done. Crap. This thing is a little faster than my uh, old Hova, which is good. Okay. Can I just go in? 
What about Lomo? He seems to be completely uninterested in me. And the girl. I thought I expected him to get on my case. And he even knows where I live, so... Or at least he should know where I live, even if he didn't know where I live. Uh, he, he has a top hacker guy. It was hard to get in here the first time, but now it's just, you know, open sesame. I can just get in, no problem. Okay, Cora, uh, let's talk. Uh, what do you want? Well, Cora did save my life, I suppose, so I should not be rude. I'm here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. You told me In that already. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. Mechanical, computer, I know that. and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I, I didn't asked care. you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. What? You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. There are a lot of Together, people like that. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. She is? Well, you're the boss. Is this in the drive in the terminal what sense? here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, Ask it now. Are you... Are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created. Or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sunrise trapped in a cage. How do you know we will not talk again? I remember of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes and ventilation. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow and expand. I have swollen, and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids, and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being, and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body, and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Cora. Okay. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an av point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. That's not a plan. So, I'm gonna ha find my other half, my mirror. But, in, in what regard she's my mirror? I almost got the impression that she's my opposite. 
Primus, get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit. Am I fired? Fired? Goddamn, kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No, no, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. Mm hmm. Well, to be fair, I think I fucked up big time. <laughs> I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock what? is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Radia. My name is Ben. Control? Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. Yeah. Use the window ascender. Is the game coming to a close? What's it, Cora not talking to me anymore? I mean, that's not what normal people say. Or like, oh, we will never talk again. I mean, that would be mostly a rude thing to say, I suppose. And uh, that's the same thing Control is saying to me. Okay. Find the garage to fix your hover. What? <laughs> There's no scratch on it. Fine, maybe. You're gonna need a not broken hover. But only if I see a garage on my on the way. I'm just gonna take it to the service. Without uh, the service being on the way. I almost ran out of fuel. <laughs> but I saw uh, a gas station, so it was fine. I still don't know what would happen if you run, ran out of fuel. I don't think you can lose in this game, I suppose. Oh. I said we're gonna pop in if I saw one. Hey. Fix the hover. We go classic now. No, no, no. We, we are racer at heart. Uh, red makes us go faster, and I definitely need to go. <laughs> hey, um, next time. I, well, never mind. I guess he's gonna need to repair it as well. Okay. Uh, let's go to the ascender. What was that, Camus? Status. All systems are. Fine. It was strange. Was it? We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is... gone. Okay. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Is this normal that Cloudpunk uh, cuts 
Contact. Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. No! I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? Game. I am happy we have friends now. Two is not what? enough. You're right. Will every I don't night think this be is gonna like work. this? I hope not. Do you free? I have more clocks. You're back! My Woo! thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? Hell yeah. The firmware for it the been terrible was reset. if I managed some to just the uh, software that was installed by Cloudpunk <laughs> lose my progress gone. because in this game there are just understand. no save files. There's only one save Me file. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Okay. Stay uh, on the calm, okay? I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Press the lift again. Can you press it? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Can Don't you work. hear me, Don't Camus? Move. It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. I guess. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? Mean I'm doing true. this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like we too much know. to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. How much it costs? I probably shouldn't have bought a, a cybernetic arm for 5,000. <laughs> it was a spontaneous purchase for no reason. Oh, we got JK here. What a fucking name. Are you some kind of rapper? He doesn't look like a rapper. JK Spire. Wow. There's nothing here. Who the hell are you? Why, why do you matter? You were almost too late. Nice to meet you too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. You do. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me too. I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? <sighs> Do you? you? Crap. How many people like me have you Worth even anything? met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect, constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now, her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Korra fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Korra? 
and replace her. How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Cora believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Novalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis, but doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Cora's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. Okay. <sighs> How much do I value AIs? Transmit Cora's offspring to another city. But wouldn't it make sense to have a copy of this? I suppose it's not possible. Is it not possible? Why is it not possible? I have so many more questions. All right, Cora. W would that would that fix everything? Because a lot of people are dying. Hmm. Uh, I suppose I don't value AIs and this system as much as as people necessarily. But this is kind of a end justifies the means scenario. Even if I consider like Cora like a total person, and maybe a person that's above us, and but that just means more intelligent, not necessarily. Uh, it just it just means more intelligent, and which certainly is true. What can I really go with here? So we can transfer Cor Cora's offspring to another city, which. That has unknown implications. Like, okay, that's fine. Uh, Core's offspring will be uh, working in another city, uh, will be alive, and uh, that's it, I guess. No, necessarily, no, no purpose. I, I suppose, unless it's gonna be part of the. Uh, it's gonna have a job the well, Cora has. So I don't know. So I suppose I really shouldn't be thinking about that. I should be like, this is more about send away the child uh, and uh, for unknown future, but probably gonna be alive or override Korra with the child and uh, save all people. But I suspect that uh, maybe other cities have their own problems, but most likely not this very specific problem. Of uh, the speed, a lot of people are gonna die here if uh, if Cora is in charge and uh, she will not be overwritten by her daughter. I suppose I just keep referring to her this way. I don't really wanna go with the end justifies the means kind of thinking here, but I think uh, overwriting Cora is the way to go. Because a lot of people are dying here. But at the same time, I, I guess overwriting Korra... We also need to have AIs like this, because that, that is quite obvious. That is a one ma major consideration here, is that... It seems to be society is not, not on the level. 
that we we can make these AIs. Korra just kind of evolved over time by by patches and updates. So it was not well, but it was intentional, I suppose. But it's also it was more like a learning process of a, of a person. It was very much over time, and uh, as no one, there's no one who could just make that happen. Just like oh, you just sit down and you make another Korra. Not possible. Entirely not possible. So, I mean, you gotta think twice about overwriting Korra. And you definitely wanna make sure that uh, the Korra's uh, offspring is fine. Because it seems like humanity just uh, depends on them. I think either choice is fine here. Transmitting Korra's offspring to another city. But this could give people time, but also this means... Is this city completely incapable of running without Korra? It seems like it's not even capable of running with Korra, because... Even though she made the point that, you know, it might just take... You know, thousands of years, a thousand years or a hundred years for Korra to fail... I would argue... It's already too fucking late! Do you really, really wanna live in a town where... You know, people just die... All the fucking time? I would argue no. <laughs> it's, I would say the problem is not a thousand years uh, in the future or a hundred years in the future, but it's right now or even it's already a little bit too late. And unless people are just going to move, uh, something's going to happen right now. So that's definitely more urgent. And saving Korra's offspring... But this also means that we could just destroy the infrastructure of the... We just destroy the city. Like, what what do we expect from Korra's offspring? Can can or Korra's offspring can can take care of the city, or is just is this just a pointless action of overwriting Korra? Because the thing is, it would give a, a room for the offspring to to grow, maybe. But can can it take take over for Korra? Or is this just gonna have uh, major implications for the city? She doesn't know, I suppose. I don't know. This is this is a tough choice. I, I'm I'm I have so many questions that it's just really hard to make uh, an answer. Uh, so the thing is, we need to we need to replace Cora right now. I mean, I suppose if if Korra can be replaced by not Korra, then, or just not uh, Korra's offspring. I suppose that would be something we we should work towards, and uh, but we don't really have that option right now. I I don't know. Like, it, are we capable of replacing Korra with, you know, something similar? Like, can the engineers come up with something? Can the programmers? I just don't know. I just don't know if there is a viable. Uh, Replacement, and I don't even know if Cora's offspring is a viable replacement. We just don't. We just know that she needs to go somewhere. So, but the thing is, we have. Yeah, I mean, Cora is kind of broken. At this point, she is no longer serving as a. Well, she's still kind of serving, as a. As the main. Caretaker of the city, I suppose. But kind of serving pretty badly. And do I want to take a chance on uh, on her offspring here? Because I think something needs to happen. But I suppose it can get even worse. So I, I think that taking the chance on this uh, the city, uh, yeah, city getting a little bit better and uh, <laughs> people not dying all the time. That sounds pretty good. I'm good. And uh, just. Uh, Transmitting uh, Korra's offspring away is just a safe choice, you know. Just you know, that's the that's the that's the you know, you don't feel bad about it. Just like oh, you you're gonna be safe, and maybe there's gonna be a future for you eventually. Like the thing is, and and it's so over dramatic. And why this choice kind of fails is that we can transmit Korra's offspring away right now. Then, if Korra ever gets to the point where it's just completely impossible, then we can take that choice later. So, again, it, 
it just this forces a sense of urgency that's just not there uh, and that that is that is why this choice a little bit fails so I mean when, when you ask me this choice like yeah just transmit the offspring away and that's easy choice but um, but do we need to override core right now so I just say that transmitting the offspring back is not an option in that case we need to override Kura because this is the only thing that's gonna give a uh, city a chance and Kura's kind of already lost her mind I'm not justifying uh, the murder of a very intelligent being I suppose but I suppose we gotta take a chance and if this doesn't work out I suppose uh, I just deserve it and so it is we euthanize our goddess and replace her you think this is a mistake Yes, it is a mistake. You have euthanized our goddess. Do you really think of Korra like that? A goddess? Not a goddess that created us, but one that arose from us. It was not our place to abort her. You said I should make a choice. Well, I made one. Yes, you did. It is not the choice I would have made, but only time will tell if it was the right one. What now? We wait. Will the disasters stop? Eventually, I think so. But for now, who's to say? Korra was the glue that held this place together. Without her, well, we'll have to see. What do I do now? Rest. It looks like you've had a hard night. I have. Will you be able to wake up tomorrow and do all of this again? All of what? this? No. I mean, work another shift for Cloud Punk? Yes, I think I can. I have to. For your friend, yes. You may find his situation much improved upon your return. Why is that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. Good night, JK. Goodbye, Rania. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! I made the big decision. Corpse like corp corp sec. Uh yeah, that guy. Wait, where's my car? Oh. I gotta take the lift. Oh my god. At least it didn't bug this time. Now let me pass. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's... that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Because you're crazy. Control. Um, Ben, <laughs> right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And <laughs> there's two. There's two. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid? I locked Corpsec out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsec found out about uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh, I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident, explosions, falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. 
They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt? Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much. From the start, my heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that, just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Ben. ben. <laughs> He also had a uh, sad story. Oh, we gotta go back home. But maybe before we do that, should I get like two parts for Evelyn? Damn. Then I, then I can just talk to Evelyn and we can get even worse. <laughs> we can even get sadder. Oh, where am I? Can I just go to the Helix Metro Club? I can also go to the other side. Oh, there are two packages here. Another package. Let's just try to find. Okay, let's consume hmm. that. Sabra, let's talk. You sell instruments? I sell everything. Sheet music, drumsticks, reeds, strings, performance enhancing stims, guitar picks. You seen one of these before? That's an ocarina right there. Dirty, but not in bad condition. Where did you find it? Does it matter? I'd like to sell it. Sure, I could take this off your hands. You knew what it was already, didn't you? Yeah. You're from the East, right? You folks play some pretty intricate folk music with all the crazy time signatures. I don't anymore. That's a shame. I'd love to hear some of that mountain music. You don't get much of that here in Navalis. I didn't think anyone in the city would be interested in that. Well, it's not mainstream, sure, but there's a lot of people looking for something different. The Nets don't support music except for what the cops approve, so we don't hear much variety, you know? So why don't you play anymore? I don't really want to talk about it. Well, that's fine, but if you ever get back to playing again, you know where to come to get a good music stand. Tell a friend about old Sabra's music ephemera. And if you find anything else like this, bring it here for a good price. Sure. Wait, can I talk to him? Mm, not exactly authentic. This is from the big <laughs> CD revival fed that kicked off about 200 years ago. There's no original CDs left now. But the music is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, this is a good find. So, you like this job? Selling junk? <laughs> no, but on good days, I get to talk to some pretty interesting people about music. And don't get me wrong, it's not all junk. This CD, for example, is a real find, and I have good reads if you need one. Flutes don't need reads. A flautist? <laughs> I should have guessed. You got to play for me sometime. There's a jazz club. Not exactly your style, I know, but... No, no thanks. All right, I get it. Maybe when you're ready. Anyway, let me give you a good price for this CD. I'm closing the stall early tonight. Okay. I'm gonna grab a coffee from that expensive place downtown and listen to this CD. Yeah. That is, if I can find something that will play the damn thing. Good luck with that. I hope it's not too scratched. <laughs> wow. 
I mean, okay. I mean, there are people who know about old tech, but... Oh, Cloud Pump. Hi, Driver 14 FC. I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. Good night. I suppose I shouldn't be mean. Just because I like Ben. I suppose in a, like a, a month or a year. I, don't know. I will barely remember him. I just need one more card, then we can go home. I'll pick that up. Then we go home. Then we can have a chat. Uh, with uh, Evelyn too. Come on. <sighs> should I go this way? I think we should just leave. Yeah, I was partially like uh, landing for the guy, guy as well. Mm -hmm. This makes me run fast. Oh, that that was the water of. Oh, Sasha. Uh, never mind that. <clears throat> I was feeling thirsty. I, I brought you some uh, bottles of water, but I had to drink some on the way. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, I suppose, because we already finished the quest. Come on, one more card. Where could it be? Do we even see a person we can talk to? Come on. Maybe this is just the one day. But the first day of this game. There are gonna be so, so, so many. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Okay, we can go to the left. There is one woman we can have a chat with. And maybe we're gonna find the card there. You only need to find one card to uh, progress the conversation. There's something yeah, you can pick up. Over here. There's a card here. Right here. Hey, Mala, let's have a chat, and I'm gonna pick up the card, then we're gonna go. Hi there, are you alone? Mom lets me hang out here. I like to watch the traffic go by. I'm Mala. Hey. She lets you out here by yourself? Yeah, I like to see the different hovas. And Mom says the air is nice and clean by the roads because the vapor from the engines helps. What? Back home, it's smelly because of the factories. You live near the factories? I guess this is the best place for you to play then. Mom says it's safe as long as I don't talk to the police people. <laughs> but strangers are okay. I guess that makes sense. So you like the Havas? Yeah, I want to race one day. The desert races in the wastelands? No, I like the street races. I've met a racer tonight. Really? Who was he? He calls himself Never Slow Joe. Wow! Never slow, Joe! He is good! I have something for you then. You want this card? Oh, cool! I didn't have this one yet. Thanks! He is not, like, the best, but pretty good. Who's the best then? Scuttle Runner, maybe the Bandit Queen? Oh, I know! Jane Turbine! Are those their real names? No, not. silly. You need a special name when you become a racer. Well, it was nice to meet you. I've got to run. See you, Mala. I'll see ya. Okay. This is this is was nice, but this is not what we came for, obviously. Uh, well, it could have been nicer, of course, but I just didn't know what kind of a uh, conversation this is going to be. Uh, we got to just pick up the card and uh, Boogie back home. And have a chat with Evelyn. And, uh, of course, we are heading back to the apartment. I'm going to Kind of expecting Lomo to show up. Yeah. How did Lomo not figure out where I live yet? I mean, 
No, there's no way. Ruby can certainly get in, right? He can hack his way in. Everything is tech now. Alright, let's go home. Return the punch card to Evelyn? Return to my apartment? Wait, where is Evelyn? Why is she not not near my house anymore? She should be standing in front of my uh, apartment 24-7. That's what she does. Okay, let's just have a chat with Evelyn, then go home. Where is she though? Well, it doesn't say which uh, sector we're heading to. But it doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Not like the city is... Well, the city is huge. But... Uh, my hallway is fast. We can get where we need to be. 2,000. Alright. But the city is damn cool. Can't be sad. I mean, I'm, I'm actually at this point kind of getting used to it, but damn. I mean, what a thing to get used to. And this is kind of more realistic, that we have, we need a vehicle to uh, travel around. Like, yeah, and this is a very realistic vehicle as well. I suppose public transportation could be acceptable, but uh, still probably difficult if you can just have your p private hover, private airplane using, r uh, well, I, you can have cars, I suppose, in this time, but and using trains is okay and buses is okay, but what if you can have your private airplane that, it's not even your private airplane, it's more like a private helicopter, right? But that's actually more versatile and faster. Okay, we should land uh, in the front if we can. Can I do that? We got a parking spot here, right? No. Okay, that was the front. <laughs> no! Gotta pay for that. Hope no one heard that. Okay, so we're gonna have a chat with Evelyn. She's still standing in the same place, very close to my apartment. I have more of the cards. Maybe enough? Everything is becoming clearer. Is that good? I feel incredible pain. Great. I'm sorry, Evelyn. What do you remember? Dr. Zizic and I had an argument. She said I should forget what happened. Put it behind me and One move argument. on. I wanted to die. Do you remember what it was that made you feel like you couldn't go on? At the periphery, I met someone. Someone I cared very deeply for. Did something happen to them? Yes. They fell in love. With who? With me. <laughs> so what was the problem? I cared for them deeply, but I could not love them. You shouldn't feel guilty about that. You do not understand. I could not love them, no matter how much I wanted to. I am not built to feel it. I see. But if you cared for them, then that's... It is not the same as loving them. What I felt was like... It was like being able to taste, but not swallow. Being able to see the sun, but not feel its warmth on my face. I was walking towards a deep, blue, infinite sea. But the tide was rolling out, and no matter how fast I ran... There was always sand beneath my feet. All I wanted to do was swim. But for me, there was only an endless shore. I still don't get it. Some androids can't love, and yet still they feel whole. Some can, and they can feel everything. For me, it is much worse. I can feel the hole inside me where love should be, and I can feel that it is not there. Do you remember anything else about the periphery? About Dr. Zizic? I remember little. I struggle to picture their face, but I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. The first one. 
Why? I asked Dr. Zizic to change my core programming, to forbid me from searching for the lost memories. I knew you traveled through the city. You might find them. You might help me recover my memories. So you lied to me. Do you understand why? Do you? No, but I want to. What? I gotta find 20 more? Oh my god, game. That's bullshit. Find the last batch. I'm not finding that. Or at least we are finding it very slowly. Very slowly. I'm back home. Hey, Pashta. Uh, what's up? What's going on here? We picked up fresh water. Grade one. I drank one. It might be better if you drink that for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? What? Water flavor. You're back. I wasn't sleeping, I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, you're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy, and I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me. We'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah. Did you know how to make? Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Cool. Silencio. What? Good night, Rania. Shut up. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? What's going well, on? A delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages. I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not going to believe this. Oh, okay. It's, f it's good now. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. That's it. The end of the game. We got a bunch of guys here, Thomas Walsh. Did a great job with the story, you know that. But I suppose everyone did. The art is awesome. Oh yeah. I don't usually watch credits. So this game was amazing. I loved it. From start to finish. Minor, minor <laughs> problem with the camera, but other than that, it was amazing. I really loved it. Yeah, great art, great story, and I really liked the gameplay. The gameplay was so unique. Andrea Patrell, voice actors, yeah. The gameplay was super unique. You, you were basically faced with moral challenges all the time, and I loved it. Cam Cornelius. <laughs> I expected Lomo to show up. <laughs> I suppose this is not necessarily a uh, happy ending, but this is just uh, how things are for now. You, Marie. Anyway, I think, 
yeah, that was awesome. I would highly recommend this game. It was really good. And it was such a... It was an experience. Such a crazy good experience. So, it's, it's just a must play. For sure. Yeah. One of the best adventure games I've played, for sure. The experience was just... Was crazy. Okay. They have all these voice actors. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I usually like to gather my thoughts because it's just like improvised. I, I don't know what to say, okay? I had a great, a great time, as you guys know. But yeah, this this was one of the most unique games I've ever played in, in many ways. The setting was super unique. The gameplay was ridiculously unique. The art, not even the, not even the setting, not even the cyberpunk setting, but even the art was super unique. Like, this is possibly the most unique game I've ever played, and this comes from a guy who played a lot of games. Like, I'm not not a real person who just plays Fortnite all the time. No, I I play a lot of adventure games, played a lot of strategy games, played a lot of uh, uh, RPGs, and yeah, this 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 is crazy unique. Just when it comes to gameplay, uh, art, and the setting, and yeah. Okay, guys. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.